Hey everybody, the little guy is 10 days old now and he's having a real big problem. And uh, we gotta see what we can do for him. What's his problem? He is too good. Now, he is feeling his oats. He thinks he's big stuff. He's uh, gaining weight real quick and he's tired of being hemmed up in this pen. And he's got a little bit of a Napoleon complex. He's got little man syndrome. He thinks he's too big for his britches and thinks he can bully people around. I just got home from work. We haven't cleaned the round pen yet, but watch him. See? Oh, look at that. Look at that. We can't put up with that. He thinks he can come over and kick me. Yeah. So gonna have to get my hands on him and teach him some boundaries, right? From the, from the get go. This is part of why we like to handle them young. That mama sets boundaries for him, and uh, there's no reason we shouldn't be setting boundaries for him too. I was the first one home today. I'm gonna play with him a little bit, then I'm gonna pick this stall out, and we'll give him some pasture time too, because part of this little attitude problem is he's a little boy, and he needs to get out and run. So that'll be good for him. But it's, it's good to see this feistiness, because we, we know he's doing well and he's healthy. And personalities, even at this age, personalities are different. He has got a little bit of a ornery personality. And uh, let's see what we can do with him. Before we move on, I just wanted to show you this little video <laughs> from a few days ago. Uh, me and Becca had gone out there just to kind of love on him. And this was what we got. And uh, Becca was uh, taken by surprise a little bit. We had never had a full act this way. And she didn't quite know how, um, what to do or how to react because he's so little and young. Uh, she really felt like he was trying to play uh, but was afraid at the same time or confused. I'm not really sure what he's thinking. <laughs> um, he obviously thinks we're the bad guys the way he's acting. And just to clarify, in case you're wondering, he has been handled. We have messed with him. Um, he's in the barn here, so he sees us every day. We clean out the round pen. We pet mama. We have loved on him. Uh, he has not been mistreated. Uh, he's had a very calm and uh, safe environment to be in. <laughs> he thinks he's... Big enough to be mean, he ain't, he ain't. You're still a little guy. See this chewing motion he does? That's kind of like um, a foal kind of trying to say, hey, I'm a baby, don't be mean to me. You know, that's a sign of fear and intimidation that they'll use with the other herd. So it's also kind of telling me he doesn't know if I'm a horse or a or a predator or what. He, he kind of thinks I'm a horse maybe. Maybe that's why he thinks he can mouth like that. You know, that's kind of a equine cinder symbol of, you know, civilian, being, sub, uh, being what's it called? Not dominant, opposite of dominant. Submitting, but, um, or surrender. But yeah, he's got a little bit of an attitude problem. Another thing, it's good if you just lay him down nice and gentle. And hold them down. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Make them submit. Because he's he got to where he'd even be biting at us. It's okay. There, he's kind of give in. I'll let him up. He's still mad about it, but now he thinks maybe I need to go see my mommy and talk it over with her. Um He'll get over it pretty quick if I don't let him get away with it. I, a lot of people be triggered and think that's mean, but it's better to do it now when he's probably 90 pounds as opposed to when he's 900 pounds. That'd be kind of interesting to see too, real quick. He has gained a ton of weight. Let me grab the scale and we'll see how much weight he's gained in 10 days. Okay, I got him caught. He is up to 90 pounds. So from 62 pounds to 90 pounds in just 10 days. That's uh, quite a bit of weight, but he definitely feels it when you pick him up and he's looking a lot cuter too. Okay, so I picked out the round pen, cleaned up the paddock a little bit. We'll do a little bit more here in a minute. 
When Emery gets home, she ran to town because we ran out of shavings. You see the empty pallet, pallet there? What non-horse people don't know, they always assume that it's very expensive to keep a horse because of how much they eat. And that is true. It is expensive to keep them in grain and hay and everything. But the biggest expense is the shavings. If you want to keep them well bedded and clean, shavings are uh, five to six dollars a bag. And as you can see there, there was 10 piles of poop in here just from the work day because it was cleaned this morning at feeding time. Now it's cleaned again. Five minutes later, there's a new pile of poop. But the little boy, he's doing good. And I wanted to take this minute to answer some questions and comments I've seen. Like people were criticizing me. Oh, you're gonna be mean again? For not taking him to the vet because they said he was obviously a preemie. Well, he was not a preemie by gestation. But look at this, 10 days later, he is now our average weight of birth. He's 90 pounds. So he's gained a little under, but three pounds a day, because that's 28 pounds he's gained in 10 days. So just, just at three pounds a day he's gained. Well, the nutrition in her womb, if she had gone 10 more days, she'd be at 345 days today, which would be full term, he would be 90 pounds. Same weight as his sister was last year. So. The weather this spring has been crazy and the drought. We've had days that were 15 degrees followed by days that were 80 degrees. She doesn't know if it's summer or winter. And that was all within, you know, a 45 hour span. And uh, those environmental pressures that you don't, you can't only assume what they are. You don't, we don't know, it's not scientifically proven. This is all a, guessing game because horses can't talk and tell you what's going on. But that would explain the weight differences that we saw from last year's foal to this year's foal. And um, you know, I know what I'm doing. I didn't need to take him to the vet. He had seven healthy stools in the first 10 hours that he was born. And his gut sounds were great and he began latching on and within 12 hours of being born, he had gained all the strength you would want to see in a newborn foal. Sure, he was slower than what we'd like to see it. We'd like to see that kind of strength in 15 minutes, like Happy's video last year. Go back and watch that one it, for the exact opposite story, a foal that got up too quick and wanted to play too soon. But he's doing great now, and I hear Emery pulling up the driveway, so we'll get him out, take him down, and let him have a good run in the pasture. There's Emery with a new pallet of shavings. Okay, let's get him out and let him have some sunshine and maybe he can wear some of that little ornery energy off. Oh, he's not following. <laughs> Come on, here you go. <laughs> Here's your daddy. That is our stallion Bob and that is the full side. <laughs> And Bob was very interested in him. So we are heading down to JR's parents' farm. You can see right down the road there, that is their farm. Uh, they have a nice, big, outdoor, grassy arena. And that's where we're going to take Chablis and her foal. And you all are probably wondering if we have decided on a name for this little guy. And it took us a while, but we finally decided. And we actually announced it on our Patreon. Uh, so if you want to get early announcements and things like that, you can go check out our Patreon. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. So we had a lot of really good name ideas thrown out there in the comments. Uh, some really good ones. And one of the top uh, commented names was Champagne. Because his mama, uh, her name is Chablis, like the wine. But champagne is also the color of a horse. And we don't really believe that he is going to be a champagne. He's a palomino. Once he gets older, his mane and tail will turn, will turn white and his body will stay a golden color. 
So for that reason, we decided not to go with Champagne. And uh, JR actually came up with the name okay. Prince. So we have been calling him Prince. And then one of our Patreon members mentioned the name Bold Roller, um, which was the sire of the famous racehorse Secretariat. But when we heard that name, it just suited him so well. So we're going to try to register him as Bold Roller. And then his barn name will be Prince. Sadie. Yes, you've been annoyed. Sadie, come here. Sadie is actually uh, one of the puppies that our dog, our lab, Piney, had. She's a Labradoodle, and she's Grandma and Grandpa's dog now. And she's just a baby herself, just a puppy still, and she's never seen a foal before. And she was very interested in Prince. But while he's out here running around for the first time, we did tie her up eventually. There he goes. Look at that gate. He is very gated. It didn't take long before Shibli was rolling around on the ground itching. I'm sure it felt very wonderful after being in the round pen for so long. So it took a minute for little Prince to kind of loosen up. Uh, he was a little bit unsure at first. Everything was very new. He wanted to stay close to mommy uh, for the first little bit, but then he started loosening up and exploring a little bit more. And before we knew it, he was running around playing. <laughs> Nice. Prince probably ran around for about 40 minutes just running and playing and then all of a sudden uh, you could see he was slowing down and he started getting really sleepy. He was just standing in the sunshine and his head would drop and he'd, he'd fall asleep right here. You can tell he's trying to fall asleep. 
Eventually, he couldn't take it anymore, and he lay down and took a good nap before we took him back up to the barn for the night. So, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we hope that you like our name choice, Prince. Uh, we know a lot of you were rooting for Champagne, uh, but Prince just suited him, uh, so that's what we went with. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think about his name. And before heading out, if you could give Prince a thumbs up, we sure would appreciate it. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you all later.